Okay, in a world where everything is topsy-turvy, you would expect it so much in a sci-fi series out there. Especially one where you enter a telephone booth and it opens up into this massive storage area. You have a wand that's a device. We're going to talk about Doctor Who. I absolutely detest Doctor Who, but I can't help but to talk about this. That's right, you got me right off the bat. I am not a fan of Doctor Who. I don't watch the show. I don't do anything with the show. Uh, it, I find it absolutely about as dry as Coronation Street when it comes to British comedy or British sci-fi show. They're, how many seasons are they in? I don't even know. But what I've seen here in the last little bit with Doctor Who has to be spoken about because it's absolutely pathetic and it's one of those more ridiculous stories that you just can't pass up anymore. And you gotta wonder, you gotta wonder if the person that wrote this story used an AI to actually write this story. Sorry, straight white men, Doctor Who was never made for you. This type of crap that I've seen time and again, every day, this, this title. This is why I'm covering it, because this title has been used several times over and over, where it goes, sorry, straight, white men, yada, yada, yada. It's like it was plugged into an AI, and this is the garbage that it spit out. This is uh, from an entertainment reporter, Ayaya, if tick, ha, huh? if tick up. I, I'm guessing that's what it is. <laughs> Not everyone was excited about the unapologetic queer black Doctor Who, though a vocal contingent of keyboard warriors took to social media to claim the show had gone too woke. Jeez, I wonder, from arguing that the show has been torn apart by woke dialogues to creating their own social media trend, rip Doctor Who. <laughs> you don't need to go far to find the litany of tired complaints. But I'd argue the show has always been socially progressive and inclusive. Really? Really? You think so? Especially when David Tennant tells everyone that it's, uh, that, what is it? Uh, I, I saw some quote going around where, uh, about the progressiveness with it. I started watching the show with David Tennant's run as the 10th Doctor over 15 years ago and immediately fell in love with the beautiful themes around family combined with the captivating space and time adventures. I never look back. Over the past 60 years, the British TV show has cultivated a devout fan base following the timey wily adventures of an alien known as Do the Doctor and his human companion in the TARDIS. This is apparently the new villain, and I, it looks like they should have a third arm, maybe a fourth arm. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm really looking at because I don't know Doctor Who at all, but this is absolutely terrifying. And any kid that is trying to get into the show, I would guess this person would be nightmares in their dreams. In a nutshell, there is no world too crazy, time too far, or creature too strange. Not even, uh, I, what is this? What is this? So, Nutsi predecessor Jody Whittaker, the 13th Doctor, battled intense public scrutiny as the first woman Doctor to take the show in the beloved role. Angry viewers similarly accused the show of pandering to woke times, causing Jody to tell the press it's terrifying that a woman being given a particular job can cause so much rage. If I remember, it wasn't so much that they gave the job to a woman, but it was that they injected it with feminist talking points and diversity talking points and and degrading the audience. I didn't like Doctor Who in the first place, and that's not going to draw me in to watch the show now. Um, Doctor Who has a giant fan base, and I really do see that giant fan base. But it, hell, it has such a fan base, they made a Magic the Gathering set for Doctor Who, which absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I stopped playing Magic because I just can't can't sit there with this universes beyond absolute bullcrap that they keep pushing down our throats. But honestly, it it wasn't even that big of a deal to have a female 
play the role, it was that they wrote the bad female stereotypes that they put up on the screen that are just exploding the message. And that's why people don't like this. That's why people step back and say, absolutely no, don't do that. It's like watching the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. It, they, they put it and they injected their own selves, their own whatever they want in there to send a message. And then people sit there and go, this is crap. This isn't what I want to watch. I don't want to be told what I'm supposed to think to watch a show. Make me forget about the woes. Make me walk away from the movie theater forgetting that I just went through two hours, wasting two hours of my life watching a show instead of creating something for my life. And I, but I was able to forget the woes of life. I was able to forget that financial situation and that, that car crash that you were in two weeks ago, whatever it might have been. But no, you go to these theaters, you go to these shows now, and you get told how you're supposed to think and act. And suddenly, if you're not doing that, you're sexist or you're bigot or whatever it is. And this is the message that they keep pushing with these shows and why people don't like them. I could care less that they put a black guy in there or a woman. It's just that they're pushing so much more with it and making it more about what who's in charge there, making it more about their skin color or their gender stereotype than the show itself. And that's the problem. Like I said, I'm not a Doctor Who fan, but I could not pass this up because not only did this article come out, this was an article that was posted to Metro UK which when it came out, they got so much backlash, they actually deleted their Twitter account over it, which is, you gotta sit there and you go, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You guys deleted your account over this? You know, maybe just pull the article back and instead of degrading people saying that it was sorry what straight white men, it, part of this was because they got commune and noted saying, no, the, the show has always been appealing to everybody in the past, but now suddenly that's the difference here. These shows drew in everyone and they were inclusive all to begin with without having to say it out front. But suddenly, because you're not saying it out front, it suddenly isn't inclusive. It's suddenly you're a bigot if you're not liking these things. It's absolutely pathetic and it needs to stop in all genres right now. Not just video games, but TV shows and movies. Just make the show the way that you originally want to make it and don't have it changed to fit the narrative of whatever narrative you're going to put in there and put in just stupid jokes that belittles the audience. The audience doesn't want that. The audience wants to have a day where they forget about this type of stuff. Anyway, I'm your product name, Phoenix in the Shadow. If you like this one, let me know down below. I don't cover a lot of Doctor Who or a lot of TV shows in particular, but it is fun to stray away from that every once in a while. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.